back and the person still in the same condition. That's right. mm -hmm. See, the father did not step in Jesus' way of his son. Did he? Mm -hmm. When he was on the cross, he said, Father, he spoke. Have thou forsaken me. The father didn't forsake him, but Jesus had to go through the cocoon of death. Oh, my dad's a priest. Lena, you want to preach that, son? <laughs> So he had to go through that. Oh my God. All right, then. let's go on down a little further. See what Jesus go through. For both he that sanctified and they who are sanctified are all of one. For which cause he is not ashamed to call them brothers. So he ain't ashamed to call you brother. Because he went through. He went through. What you going through? He already done been through it. So he done paved the way of the suffering that you going to suffer, but your suffering wasn't nothing compared to his suffering. Come on. Amen. And you ever saw something that you feel like you just about to yeah. die? Like and, and you feel like you die, do you? Yeah. And then you, you just thought, well, I'm going to die. And it look like, look like you, you said, God, if I look at what Jesus went through, I ain't went through nothing. Amen. Especially when you hear somebody else. Amen. Amen. So Jesus went through it before you go through it. So he already done fit your cocoon up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, come on, Larry. Mm -hmm. Saying, I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the church will I sing praise unto thee. All right, this is what Paul is saying, what he's going to do. So I got to keep what? The right mentor attitude. I'm going to declare to keep my head up. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank I you. declare I'm going to keep Jesus' name up. I'm not going to wear my problem. I'm going to overcome my problem. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. All right, come on. In the church. And then he said, I will sing praise unto thee. Now, we don't do that. We mm -hmm. mm -hmm. come in. We have a problem. Nobody knows. Give God some glory. Mm -hmm. Nobody <laughs> know that spirit. And you know when we don't want to call, and I just realized, we not on one accord when the praise is in the house. Don't you know it's not fully in fact? No. And you can get delivered. Some people sitting down, won't clap their hand, won't move. It's not fully in fact. No. And you wonder why all of us come when it was it Pentecost? When the Holy Ghost came in, all of them got filled. Yeah. They was on one mind, one accord. So that's what we got to be in the body. Everybody got to give God some glory and praise. And we all do that together. God, your house full, your mind, and all of us. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we holding each other up. Amen. Through our praise. Amen. My God. Amen. I'm going like, to have to give me a stick. I don't see you moving. I'm going to tell you. Come on there and tap you. Get up. <laughs> All right, come on, Liz. And again, I will put my trust in him. Mm -hmm. And again, behold, I am the children which God has given me. See what he's saying? Again, I will put my trust in who? Him. And again, behold, I am the children which God have given me. Okay, I view me as a that here. My trust is in him. Mm -hmm. I trust him. Whatever he tells me to do here. Mm -hmm. In my trust, I'm passionate to you. Mm -hmm. So if I trust what God said, and you trust what I'm saying to you, what God gives me, then when I increase, mm -hmm. you're going to increase. Yeah, okay. That's why sometimes I look around and say, do they believe what I'm saying? Do they trust what I'm saying? 
Now he said, I know you by what? Your fruit. See, disciples could not do nothing until Jesus went back. But when he went back, he released all authority to his disciples. And then he began to see his fruits. And it's just like, if I trust him, I'm going to begin to do what Jesus said. So Jesus began to see his fruits. And just like, if you trust what I'm saying and you use it, what I'm teaching you, then I'll begin to see the fruits. <laughs> the fruits of what God gave me manifesting through you. So that let me know I'm on the right track. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. So Jesus said, I, I took on y'all to get y'all on the right track. track. <laughs> Thank God for the right track. We're on the right track. Trust in the word. All right, come on, man. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is, the devil. So the more I die, the more power I got over the devil. Amen. The devil don't have no power. We give him the power Amen. through our flesh. Jesus Amen. took all that from him. He took back what Adam gave up. Mm -hmm. But if I don't go through what I need to go through my cocoon, like she said, if I come out of two earth, I'm going to die. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to die out of, oh, uh, how can I put I'm not die, uh, I'll die spiritual. Because mm -hmm. the flesh died daily. Right. But I'll die spiritual. Amen. i become bitter, cold. Mm -hmm. I'll take on the attributes of the Father, which is the devil of the earth. Because I lost who I was in him. Mm -hmm. So Jesus gave me back my rights through the trusting of his word. If I said it, trust me. My God. So if I get in my emotion and my feeling, then the devil come and bam, bam. <laughs> Begin to knock me out and I become spiritually dead. Mm -hmm. it's, hey, you seen people that spiritually dead. They so bitter no matter what you say to them. You, you come up talk to the nice to them, they get snappy. Mm -hmm. That spirit is there. Mm -hmm. They don't have no, no life. It's the flesh. No joy, no peace. They're not at peace in their spirit, man. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right, come on, man. And deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. See, I just said that. Become bonded. They so trapped in the cares of the world. That's why he said, I'm in the world, but I'm not of the world. Mm -hmm. You in the world, but you're not of the world. You don't function as the world functions. You function by the Spirit. So you have life through Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, come on. For well, verily, he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. I like that. Thank God he took on Abraham. the seed. He mm -hmm. took on the natural mm -hmm. to bring me life. He brought us back to the right standard with the Father by taking on the natural form of a human form mm -hmm. so he could get us back. He was, how can say, he was in sin, but he wasn't sin nature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we are sin nature. And we are sin nature, but we are the righteousness through him. Mm -hmm. So that means I'm taking now on his attributes. I look like him. I'm no more of the flesh, but I'm of the spirit. I'm talking about through the word. I'm still walking in his old flesh and body. But I'm in the spiritual realm with him. My spiritual is thinking spiritual things. I'm not thinking natural. Mm -hmm. I ain't thinking about going out there for the king like I used to think. Mm -hmm. I don't think like I used to think about how to have five or six meetings. Mm -hmm. I don't think about going out there and stealing t-shirts. Mm -hmm. 
See, that's of the what? World. world. See, now I thank spirit, my supply is through him. So I act and think like him through the word. I speak the word and the word is true. He will manifest his word. He said, I will do it. I, you ask me, I will. I will do it. Amen. All right, that's good. So y'all know who y'all are. Amen. You a spirit. You may worship me. Spirit and truth. I don't care if they do see you. You natural. I ain't natural. <laughs> hey, Amen. Some people look at you. <laughs> well, I'm a spirit. What you mean? I'm in Jesus. I'm a spirit. I'm not natural. <laughs> Amen. All right, verse 17. Wherefore, in all things, it behooves him to be made like unto his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God, to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. See what he did? He brought us back. He took on our sin nature, cleaned us from all unrighteousness. My God, thank you, Jesus. So he could give us back. That's why, that's why he said, my sheep hear my voice, and a stranger they will not follow. Amen. And nothing, and no man be afraid, you know, he said, y'all hear his voice. Mm -hmm. The voice of the word. Amen. In all things, it behooved him to be made like unto his brother. He didn't come here looking like an angel. Amen. He come here looking like you. Amen. My God. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I just you just come in. Yes, I want to say this. When Adam did what he did. God didn't know nothing about sin. He, he lost Adam. So what he had to do to get us back where we should be, he had to come down here and take on a natural form to find out what happened between my relationship with you, Adam, and him. So Jesus, now, he came down and took on the natural form of a sinful body, but he was sin nature to clean us from all unrighteousness through his blood. Mm -hmm. Amen. If I sin, that's what repentance is for. Mm -hmm. right? And I become godly sovereign, so I, Jesus covered me with his blood. So the Father don't see sin. All he sees is the righteousness of his son, Jesus Christ. So Jesus studied in a seat for you night and day. When you talking crazy, he's still, he don't, he didn't see, the father don't hear these negative things. The father don't see this craziness that we do. Amen. So we got a lot to thank Jesus for. Amen. Amen. That he was merciful and a faithful high priest in things pertaining to God. So he stayed like his father. Mm -hmm. So we both to stay like Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. And he made reconciliation for the sin. Sin. See, I want you to see, I want you to see it says sin. It said one sin. Mm -hmm. So he took care of all our sin. He knew I was going to cut somebody out. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. So he took it. <laughs> so he done took care of everything. Thank mm -hmm. you, Lord. Until I get in a place where I can come out of that cocoon and be that full butterfly. Amen. 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 Thank God. Amen. Oh, my God. 18. I've been on that. I'm going to get you 18. This is the last one. For in that he himself had suffered being tempted. So he took on what? He suffered temptation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He suffered that. He didn't do anything, but he suffered temptation. So he could, if you want to stop doing something, you can stop. Amen. Yes. It's just your will. Because yes. he took care of it. He Amen. suffered temptation. Yeah. You just don't, you just don't go out with the sin. Mm -hmm. 
You think on that thing. Mm -hmm. I did. Mm -hmm. I just didn't go out and cope mm -hmm. on my hood. Mm -hmm. I thought he went to work at 10 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all. <laughs> I knew he wasn't coming home. <laughs> So I attacked, no, y'all, 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 y'all so sane. Y'all just didn't just, just right. you thought on that pond in it, you put it aside, mm -hmm. you measured it, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you thought it, and if ever hit here, you act on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why it said the heart would deceive you. Mm -hmm. It'll deceive you. I'm in love. <laughs> <laughs> but your love will lust. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your love was feeling sorry for a person. Mm -hmm. Amen. Sorry for yeah. love. Amen. 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 <laughs> See that temple, mm -hmm. but he suffered that. So I ain't just let my suffering have his way. Mm -hmm. I thought about that woman said today, you need to, don't hop up and just get in a, in a relationship and marry somebody too quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Till you really get to know them. Amen. Do it in order. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. See, he suffered temptation. Mm -hmm. He didn't fall into everything. Mm -hmm. We don't count now. The world has made us so in the place where we think we get too old for certain things. I need to hurry up. Now, Sarah was 90 something years old when she had eyes. If God until you have a baby, you don't have a baby. Amen. Amen. Come on, y'all. I'm getting deep with this, you know. We got to trust what? Trust God. Trust the word. He's gonna win. Trust him. Amen. The bells are ring. Make sure they ring for each other. <laughs> 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 All right, come on, then. He is able to support them that are tempted. Say so he what? He able to keep me left. Yes, you sure? Yes, yes. If we want to be careful. If I want to be careful, he keep me. Yep. So I must not want to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, people don't have no more excuses. Jesus took up all the excuses. Yeah. So we got to learn not to fall in so much with people's excuses. Mm -hmm. That's something that you want to do. I yeah. mean, and I really, you call it willfully sin. Mm -hmm. It's just something you want to do. Yeah. I feel it. I want to do it. And then when I do it, I got a prize to stay behind. We lose that, what? That we lose the communication mm -hmm. of the spirit like it should be. And for that, that is, it's, it ain't as easy to get back in that place where you was before. Mm -hmm. God trusts you, but he, he ain't let you get back in there like you mm -hmm. did from the beginning. When I first got saved, she wasn't that he would show it just like he said, BAM! Show you everything. That's something about him. He'll show you everything. You want to know, he'll show you. And then when you start closing up on him, that's what happened him now. Mm -hmm. So thank God. We ain't got no excuses, y'all. Trust the word. Trust. Trust. Trust what the word says. Search it out. If you're hungry, he said, I'll feed you. Mm -hmm. If you're naked, 
I'll close it. Wait on. Be patient. Trust what he said. Amen. Anybody got anything you want to say? Come on. I, I just want to say thank you, Lord, for my cousin. Amen. Amen. Watching over him. Amen. Amen. He got you. Mm -hmm. No matter what it looked like, he got you. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. Let me get. Let me see how much time we got. Oh, no, I ain't got but two more. <laughs> 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 well, y'all have to have to talk to me. I got caught up, y'all. Y'all getting out of it. Anybody else? Can I pass out this paper real quick? Mm -hmm. This is um, some of the classes at a university mm -hmm. on business and finance. This one on opening up a store. Okay. And this from my thought would be good. Mm -hmm. I was sitting there that day, Lord, what kind of business are you? It says, it says securing your retirement. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Securing your retirement. Can you, can you repeat what you said? Okay, love and love. All right. Love and love. Okay, love is the, the flesh. That's your emotion. See, you got to know the difference between lust and emotion. See, we, the world says love at it, and they take it as love, but it's not love. Because mm -mm. if it's the lust of the flesh, something happens <coughs> to the person, you start losing. He can't, <laughs> Wait a he can't perform, I'll put it like that. He's not what he should be. What you do is you lose that mm -hmm. feeling toward that person mm -hmm. because it's lust. Love is unconditioned of it. Mm -hmm. And it's more of a caring. It stays in for what? Position. Mm -hmm. See, you got to know a man. Well, I'm going to get deep with this thing now, y'all. Y'all, y'all, how much more time? Give me five minutes. <laughs> Michelle, hold up some worm. <laughs> what has happened is people thinking love, and they got it mixed up mm -hmm. with love. Jesus loved us, uh, loved us so till he died. On the condition, okay, that means he for, he forgot about himself and really loved. When a man or a woman forget about themselves and give their all, if I'm gonna give Michelle fifty percent of myself, then I don't love Michelle. I'm lusting at Michelle. Mm -hmm. Jesus gave his all. So when you find a man or a woman, if he can't give you a hundred percent, a half a percent, mm -hmm. you better step back. What about when somebody's jealous all the time? Is that love or what? No, that's not love. That's controlling. That's a witchcraft spirit. Mm -hmm. That's not love. Jealousy. Uh-uh. When a person is so jealous, that's controlling. That's the witchcraft to the place that they're taking who you are. Mm -hmm. If you are a happy person, you smile all the time, and every time that man takes your smile from you, that woman. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Max. Is that making sense to you, Michelle? So when you get in a relationship, don't be quick to jump in it. Mm -hmm. Start out as a friend. friend. If the friend don't be a friend, then because they can go so long in this show the ice. <laughs> I use myself as an example. Mm -hmm. I got tricked. When I got involved with being. Mm -hmm. See, something I wasn't used to leaning, help, somebody helping me all the time. And in the midst of that, I thought. 
hey, I got it going on. Mm -hmm. And then when I married him, then the and mask came on. Came on. Came on. <laughs> so the difference in lust and true love. Mm -hmm. So it let patience have what? Her perfect work. work. Because if the person is who he say he is, the God in it, he will bring what? The manifestation of truly who that person is. A lot of people stay in marriage, been married 30, 40 years, mm -hmm. they got it robbed. Mm -hmm. My person and my second. Mm -hmm. Now, I know what the value of who I am. Now, you first got to value you. How much you value you? in loving yourself, it's like you attract what you are. So if you're not 100% in loving yourself, then you're not going to attract that 100% person. So then it's like you accept what you give out. So like if, I, if I'm insecure with myself and I'm not happy with myself, then I'm going to accept a man who's half of what he should be and I'm giving my all of what I should be giving from him. So if I'm whole within myself, then I'm going to attract the whole man, like the whole person. Like, I'm not going to accept somebody that cheats on me or misuses me or, mm -hmm. you know, does certain things like that because I'm 100% with myself and know that I deserve yeah. better. The best. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> and so that's what that baby patient have what? Perfect. Perfect work. Yes. Patient will bring out that. Yes. Patience will work this thing totally out, but if you in a place of lust and looking at where you feel about you, then you would just take on anything. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So yeah, be quick to hear, slow to speak. Don't be quick to move. If he ain't if he ain't come across the table with and you put it all on the table. So I roll that pitch. If you can't bring a bag of potato chips by this time, so, 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 so. and you still you give it all the potato chips, and you're not gonna say this too. And thank you, Holy Ghost. We as women need to stop looking at how men look. We ain't looking on the inside. God knows what he wants you to have. Y'all done got quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got quiet on me, man. That's all right. Lord knows the next thing God gives me, if he ugly, I don't care what y'all say. If he good to me, he gonna sit his ugly and say, right to me. I love you, baby. <laughs> I love the ugliness of her. Long he good to me and love me like God love me. You get what you said? Ooh, that's no she got to man. I don't care what you said, baby. Man. I want the true love. Hallelujah. We need to stop looking, and that's one thing I want to drop. Y'all stop looking at these hooks. Come on now. Look at the heart. Mm -hmm. God said, I know the heart of man. Mm -hmm. Amen. You mess around and somebody else get that heart because that, mm -hmm. that ugly and you look at, ooh, 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 I, I had the mm -hmm. first. <laughs> then you gonna get jealous, darling. Mm -hmm. No, let me show you. I'll be saying, and then she look at you, you done missed it, and that woman tell hell, you had it first and you didn't appreciate it. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got it now. Father, I thank you for the blood of Jesus. Then I give you the glory of the praise. And Lord, I lose the supernatural power of your anointing. And we thank you for the truth tonight that your word came forth and brought the living healing. And God, I ask you now to set our heart toward the way that you designed it to be. And God, just like Jesus' heart was. And we thank you. 
God, that we look at the inner man, not the outward man, the spiritual part of us, who we truly are. And I thank you tonight for the spirit of God that lives within. Because you said, great is he that is in us, that is in the world. And I thank you tonight for the great I am, which is the word. And we claim it and believe it by faith that the word has already brought us forth. And I thank the Lord that we are in the cocoon of your word. And when it's time to bring us out, you will bring us out in the fullness of your glory. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Bless the Amen. Praise God. Amen.